Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Who Pressed Mute on Uncle Marcus. And I'm gonna start a new game. This will be my third playthrough. So, let's go. Enjoy. Hi mom, I'm not gonna make the virtual quiz tonight. Yes, I know it's your birthday and we do it every year. And I realise that it starts in a couple of seconds. Yes, yes, I'm an adult now and I make my own choices. And I shouldn't be petrified of telling my mum how I really feel. Don't answer it. Come on, Abby, ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. Okay. Your mom's on the warpath, I would... And then we can all just fuck off to bed. <sighs> Hi, Toby. Yeah, you're gonna have to speak up, Abs. Traffic in these war-torn places is gonna be pretty heavy. But you know me, I'll do anything for a good cause. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yeah, Abs, you're gonna have to repeat that. Uh, no, I was just, I was just oh, saying... Matt, this traffic is crazy. Who are you helping now, Toby? The people of Earth. Same as always. Of course. Just doing what I was born to do. Anything specific? Yeah, we're looking at areas to build a new school. But the area we're looking at is thick with militia. That's the risk you take when you're helping people divided by civil war. Wow, that sounds really scary. Trust me, Abs, you take your life into your own hands coming out here, but it's just something I've got to do, you know? You're amazing, Toby. <laughs> I'm just doing what I can. I love to help. It's who I am. Well, can you go first on the quiz? No, no, I want people to be warmed up before I do my round. Hey, has your sister ever done a round? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty um... sure that she hasn't. Now, fairness is important to me, Abs. That's how everyone wants to be treated. Yeah, it's time that Lottie gave something back to this family. Okay, then. It's okay, just, just show him our papers, yeah? Okay, look, I, I gotta go, Abs. There's a checkpoint up ahead. Oh, uh, yeah. Cool. Oh, Toby. How was that? That was good. You got him talking. I'd say you nailed it. Now let's get back to the quiz. One of you start before I say something I'll regret. Well, actually, I won't regret it. You will. Lottie, I think it's your turn to go. You haven't, you haven't done one in a while. Haven't I? Fine, I'll go. I haven't thought of anything for my round, though. Is that gonna be a problem? Oh, get on with it. Okay. I'll just do whatever questions come to mind. They'll mostly be about me, though. Everyone pick your teams, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, uh, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to- Sorry, gonna have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you want- Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Teams? Yeah, I... Uh, I just need to go to the loo. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dad! What, what the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. We pick a new team each round. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Probably some doomed attempt to make things fair or... Avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I sure do, kid. I sh <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, I've been better. You better go pick a teammate. Oh, I'm not starting with mummy. I'll be through this bottle before the first question. 
Well, you getting through that bottle has nothing to do with Mum. Girls, behave yourselves. What would your father say if he saw you like this? Why do you have to bring Daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. Oh, so you want to be in a team with me? Well, at least you're not June. Did you like the present I got you? Mm, remind me? The earrings? Oh, yes, that's right. You think they suit me, do you? Well, I just think you look great in anything. OK, question one. Whenever I'm in Dubai, I go to Dimitri Chateau's. He does my favourite dish in the world. What is it? What a stupid question. How on earth am I supposed to keep track of every culinary fiasco that Lottie gets obsessed with? I mean, whatever it is, it will be some sort of bizarre vegetation, won't it? Is it trendy to eat a hedge now? Yeah, I haven't got a clue either. I, you're right, I, I don't know how she expects us to know these. <laughs> Shall we just guess? You can think of something. Sure. Uh, Hunter's chicken? She likes that. So the dish is called Humility. Even the name makes me feel sick. It's a specially prepared ketogenic hemp and tofu bowl served with wild quinoa. Oh, seriously unreal. Question two, I like to use my channel to help others. So which charity did I recently promote on my socials? Oh, I know this. Toby was arguing with her about it at the meeting. Kept saying it wasn't a real charity. At the meeting? Mm, Toby was going mad. He was on edge about something all evening. Never seen him so keen to be at the meeting. It's like he had something to get out of it. He didn't even come last year. Didn't he? Claimed he had a mindfulness retreat in the Cairngorms. Oh, I know what it was. It wasn't a charity. It was a fundraiser for an eco-fashion brand that was going out of business now. Green Pieces. That's what they were called. Was anyone else acting strange at the meeting? Oh, stop it, Abby. I don't want to talk about that now. Tonight's about family and fun. The two Fs. Don't make me add another. Christ, I tried some of Greenpeace's stuff once. It's all recycled. You're literally wearing someone else's rubbish. Disgusting. Uh, how do you spell Greenpeace's? Piece of something. Piece of my mind. The answer to that one is green pieces. It's a cause very close to my heart, so everyone here can go support them. I know you've got the money. Well, I'm not giving them a penny. I mean, that's not fashion. It's just cardboard bloody tracksuits. Talk amongst yourselves, guys. When I have question three, I will shout. Sorry I missed the meeting, Mum. So you should be. It was the usual nightmare. Don't see why you should get to escape it. No one consolation. Marcus came off worse this time. I mean, I know you've hero-worshipped that man ever since your father died, but he really is an awful prick. What happened? Oh, didn't anyone tell you? Auntie June knocked one of her foul-smelling candles right onto him. Christ knows what scent it was supposed to be. Cherry and toilet dark, it smelt like. Something chemical, anyway. And Marcus's jumper started to burn instantly. So Toby threw his drink straight in Marcus's face, said he was trying to put out the flames. Though how you missed by that much accidentally, I don't know. So then I poured Marcus's drink over him. Well, I wasn't going to waste my gin on him. Of course. Then Marcus started shouting about Auntie June burning his hand, and Lottie came in with an old wet rack, which she said was cold, and started rubbing it on the burn. Then your nan found a first aid box and started trying to dress the wound. Bradley came in with, well, they were pills. We said they were painkillers. Would you trust anything Bradley gave you? Mm, I've got it, okay. The internet loves me for my eyes and my unique style, but which of my special talents has recently got them obsessed? It was only a matter of time before she brought up singing. I, I think that she might mean something else. She can't do anything else. Well, she posted this video last week of her doing, like, this viral dance. Um, it was called The Shaker. You basically just shake your... You know. I can guess. Don't worry, Mum. Loads, loads of people are doing it. Loads of people aren't in this family, Abby. Just pick an answer. OK, I'll go with The Shaker. The answer is C. 
singing. Last week, I did this collab on my channel with a girl who plays dubstep on the harp. It was so epic. Sorry, Mum. Oh. It's hard when there's more than one talent to choose from. Wouldn't have that problem with you, would we, Abby? <laughs> Slim pickings there. Question four. How many dance championships did I win as a kid? God, she loves herself. Baffles me where she gets it from. Dance championships. I can work this out. Lottie only danced between 10 and 14, and there was a dance competition every... What was it? Every four months. Now, Lottie would never ask this question if she'd ever lost a competition. So, four years, a dance competition every four months, 12 months in a year, and... Oh, shit, no one in real life does maths without a calculator. Um, I've got one on my phone somewhere. Four years every four months is 12. Is it 12? Just be quick about it. The answer is an unbelievable 12 wins. My coach begged me to keep dancing. He'd never seen anyone like me, but like, I think I made the right call leaving to find a new challenge. New challenge? She broke a toe through a massive hissy fit and quit. Someone else can go now. I'm getting like really low on my social battery. Oh, thank God that's over. Oh, um, Mum, I wanted to ask you a question. I am never teaming up with that freak again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. Well, it's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun. Right? There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you beckering any more, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. Your mom's pretty tricky to talk to, but you did good, kid. I also have some new... Oh, news that could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's take a look at what we have. Oh, God, I missed two. I still don't understand why is him giving painkillers not evidence every single cut is this like a running joke a running gag I don't I don't understand it why is it not evidence Toby was going mad he was on edge about something all evening never seen him so keen to be at the meeting it's like he had something to get out of it he didn't even come last year didn't he I don't get it yeah, signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. <sighs> Look, I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Dare I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. One of the classics. Gold! Spandau Ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classics. No, true! That's another one. Two points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, Chopin, actual... Oh, uh, mm. Hey, babe. Hi, Lottie. Are you OK? Just trying to figure out what I should wear for my live stream tonight. Don't know if I should wear a vermilion or cerulean. I'd wear vermilion. 100%. You would? I'll wear cerulean. Thanks, babe. Everyone listening? Good. <clears throat> la la la, la 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 I mean, la, la, I recognise it, but I, la, la, I don't know Bach, Toccata and Fugue in D minor. La. Oh, easy. Yes, that was quite an easy one. Bass, Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Now, let me have a little think about what I'm going to do next. <laughs> How did you know that? Don't you remember? Mum used to play it all the time when we were kids. She even put it on at the meeting. It's like her hype song. Uh, <laughs> she did? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> she said something about it helping her gird her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. I think she was probably just trying to drown out the sound of all the arguments, to be honest. Well, nice one, babe. Thanks, babe. Oh my god, you missed a mad one the other night. Did I? Yeah. Like, so much random stuff happened. I was speaking to Auntie June, and she said she had this, like, big, horrible spelling candle made especially for the meeting, and she called it something weird too, like, closure. That is weird. I know, like, if you're gonna have something specially made for the meeting, at least make it something we can all enjoy. Like, what's wrong with Peter? Okay, I know what I'm doing for my next piece. La da 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 Da, 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 la, 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 yeah, I really don't know. Lit's Hungry Rhapsody la, la, number two. La, 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 is it? La. A Hungarian Rhapsody number two, yeah, that's it. Wow. Okay. Thanks. And that answer was clearly the charming Hungarian Rhapsody number two by the original rock star. Franz Liszt. I knew it. Uh, now give me a moment while I think about my next piece. Abby, what are you doing? You gotta get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby! Where did you go? What? Are you okay, hon? You look all like frowny. Don't you worry about getting lines? No, I uh, guess. Um... Sorry. Don't apologise to me, babe. Apologise to your skin. Oh, yeah, will do. Thanks. So, um, do you remember anything else about Auntie June at the meeting? Same old pisshead. Right. She really hates Uncle Marcus, though. Everything he said seemed to make her blood boil. That hatred goes way back to, like, when they were kids. Like, seriously, every time Marcus said something, Auntie June would get up and start pacing the room to try and chill out. Right, I'm starting my next piece now, whether you're ready or not. Oh my god! Did you do that? No, I think she's pressed something. Oh my god, this is my favorite. I've seen. I'm putting this on. Who did this? Uh oh. Speak up, Mom. I, I think you put a filter on accidentally. <laughs> Answers now. I uh, can't even remember what she did. <laughs> oh wait, two seconds. Uh, uh, Mozart, Rondo alla Tarka. How do you know all of these? That was Mozart's Rondo alla Tarka. I need a moment to consider my next piece. This is it's really great, Lottie. I had no idea that you knew so much about classical music. Oh, yeah. I love it, hon. Love it. That last one used to be my ringtone when I was a kid. I just, like, listened to it over and over and over. Oh, yeah. Totally. Just don't tell anyone, yeah? Yeah, of course. Duh. <laughs> Right, well, let's not waste any more time. Oh, oh, Christ, I think I've strained something. Oh, you, this, none of this is worth me doing any serious damage to my voice, not even a mild twitch. <laughs> Someone else can do their round now. Oh, my God, that was actually so much fun. Yeah, I'm kind of gutted I missed the meeting now. Seemed like it was pretty entertaining. Oh, it wasn't all that. What happened? Bradley being Bradley, as usual, he's like a weird little kid who's like always trying to gross you out. Except this time he was like pissed off with me over nothing. What was he mad about? Has he ever shown you his collection? No, but he has offered. Oh my god, don't do it. I asked him about it like once and now he's obsessed with updating me every single time he gets a new piece of whatever you call it, murderabilia. What stuff did he show you? Dead mouse in a jar, a knife someone used to slit their throat and like this thing he said was a shrunken head. Ugh. Anyways, he was pissed off because he thought he lost something. I don't know what, but he was, like, really freaking out. And he was scared I'd taken it. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder what he'd lost. He was, like, really excited to show me these two poisons. He said they were extremely deadly and, like, super illegal. Poisons? Yeah, he must have been, like, freaking out. He'd get caught. Lottie, do you remember the name of these poisons? <laughs> God, no. 
Actually, I think he sent me an email about it. What? Yeah, I guess I wasn't impressed enough, so he had to like prove to me how deadly they were. <laughs> I never even read it. Please tell me that you still have that email. Who deletes emails, babe? They're like made of air. Lottie, can you send me that email, please? Babe. Oh, I really need to set Bradley to spam. <laughs> Here you go. Holy shit. Oh god, I just remember the half decomposed sheep skull he showed me. <laughs> Not. I. Fabulous birthday so far, Flig. Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable silence. My favorite. Hey, Abby. Jesus Christ, what the hell? They're on to me. Who? The killer. I got an email, anonymous, they no, told me to Abby. stop or, or, oh my God, I, I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. No, I can't, I told you. Abby. No, I'm not built for this shit. What are they gonna do to me? Abby, stop! <laughs> stop! Well, <laughs> Marcus? Oh. <laughs> you okay? Getting worse, Abby. I've got less time than I thought. Don't give up on me. You're the only chance I got. <sighs> Please, Abby. Please. EK. Okay. okay. I was speaking to Auntie June and she said she had this like big horrible spelling candle made especially for the meeting and she called it something weird too like closure. That is weird. I know like if you're gonna have something specially made for the meeting at least make it something we can all enjoy like what's wrong with Peter? Anything else about Auntie June at the meeting? Same old piss head. Right. She really hates Uncle Marcus though. Everything he said seemed to make her blood boil. That hatred goes way back to like when they were kids. Bradley being Bradley as usual. Wonder what he'd lost. He's like really excited to show me these two poisons. He said they were extremely deadly and like super illegal. Holy shit. Okay, listen up guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my round now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool new spin on how to- Everyone get in teams. As if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> um. Hi. And just like that, I've got a headache. Sorry. So we're gonna mix things up here and we're gonna be doing some of the workshops that I teach in the schools and I'll be awarding points for empathy. Ugh, okay? Jesus Christ. That's not a quiz, No, Toby. it's so much more than that. This is an exercise where we can have fun and learn something. Just ask a question, Toby, like a normal... Just like his father. Complete, utter embarrassment. Shall we go with increase? Well, it's 50-50, Abigail. I'm sure you can handle it. Cause permanent damage, having one's head permanently stuck up one's own asshole. Well, I've got a good feeling about water vapor. So the answer is water vapor. Bradley, my breath isn't a greenhouse gas. Please take this seriously. You fluked two in a row. Oh, I'm just glad we're getting them right. Yes, so glad. It seems like we make a pretty good team. Like a seagull and a jet engine. Question three. As a result of climate change, over 200 species of frog have gone extinct. And that's just since the 1970s. But what's the biggest threat that frogs face? 
I might not have to guess this one. I actually saw a documentary the other day. You watch documentaries about frogs? Yeah, I guess. Well, it was about a lot of different animals. Anyway, I think the answer is disease. Warmer yes, climates. Yes, yes, whatever. But if you ask me, the biggest danger frogs face is the French. So... Put something down, Abigail, before he moves on. I'll go with diseases. The correct answer is disease. Warmer climates mean diseases can spread very easily. So it's not just us in the firing line, guys. Well, that was easy. I know. <laughs> Question four. What percentage of the world's coral reefs have died over the past 30 years? For God's sake, I've had enough of this. Toby, are any of these questions going to be not depressing? I mean, normally just the sound of your voice is enough to make me want to end it all. It doesn't need any more encouragement. Oh, sorry, Mum. What, you want me to do more stuff on the fun side of our planet dying? You know what? I really tried with this, but I can tell by the answers I'm getting that none of you are taking this seriously. So, you know, someone else can do around that. I don't care anymore. Well, at least we got some points. I just want to beat your mother. I just want to see the look on her face. Auntie June, I... I have to ask you about something. About Uncle Marcus. Do me a favour. The next time you speak to that asshole, you tell him to stop asking questions about Daddy. Grandad? Yes. He was pestering your nana about it all night at the meeting. It really quite upset her. What was he asking about? What you have to understand about your dear Uncle Marcus is that he has a very hard time moving on. He never quite got to grips with the fact that his mother died giving birth to him. And his father, my daddy, your grandfather, hated him for it. Grandad hated him? Well, that's what Mama always told me. I never knew that. She said even after they got married, your grandfather could never quite forget what happened to Marcus's mother. And Marcus is just a constant reminder. Mummy says that's why Daddy killed himself. I thought you died in an accident. No, that's just what we told other people. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is it? Every night, I can hear their voices. Shouting, screaming at each other. Who? That was the last time I ever saw him. Just watched the back of his head as he walked out the door. I really, I could remember what they were saying to each other. He was shouting at her and he hated her. And it stopped. And I crept up to my room. I used to like looking at the stars. And I thought Mummy would be coming up to bed. But then I saw her moving slowly across the lawn towards the lake. And she had a wheelbarrow with one of Daddy's suits inside. I didn't think it was strange because she was always destroying Daddy's things, you know, to prove a point, to win an argument, but... Why would you put a suit in a wheelbarrow? <laughs> well, unless I'm just imagining it, you know, it's so hard to remember the truth. You know, and you spend so many years trying not to remember anything at all. Auntie June, I... Something terrible has happened to Uncle Marcus. Oh, what else shit is he coming out with now? So you've got aliens coming after him. Is that it? What? The thing you have to understand about your dear Uncle Marcus is that he's a nutter. Complete paranoid fantasist. Do you know, one year, he thought his business partner was trying to kill him. Yes, said he was getting threats. Anonymous emails. Anonymous. He's probably sending them to himself. So he got shutters put on all the windows, surveillance cameras everywhere. Do you know what happened? Nothing. Obviously. Your uncle Marcus lost his marbles a very long time ago. He's dangerous. Don't trust a word he says.
Kid, we need to talk. Abby, please. Please. Family that would never fucking lie to you. Huh. I, I believe you. You don't know how much I needed to hear that, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. So, listen, I think some of the stuff Auntie June told me could really help us. <coughs> you okay? Fuck. No! I just spat out a bunch of fucking maggots! There's, there's nothing there. Fucking everywhere! Uncle Marcus, I, I can't see any maggots. Fuck! Abby, get help! What? What the fuck is this thing? This fucking thing, Abby! It's choking me! There's, there's nothing there! What? There's no snake. It's really not there. Fuck. Fuck. Hallucinations have started, Abby. Doc says once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes. Wow, I still missed evidence. And I thought Mummy would be coming up to bed. But then I saw her moving slowly across the lawn towards the lake. And she had a wheelbarrow with one of Daddy's suits inside. Huh. I better get back in there then. Wait. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm going to be able to help you much longer. <coughs> Uncle Mark. <coughs> what is it? I'm out of time. No use pandering to their egos anymore, kid. I won't be around long enough. If you want to save me, you got to find the truth. Good luck, good luck, kid. I guess this is it. Absolutely not. I'm telling you, I can do it. This quiz has been enough of a disaster so far. Oh, let your sister have a go. It'll be chaos. Look at her. She's just had a couple of drinks. No harm in that. A couple of drinks? She's had a cellar full. Look, nobody has anything ready. But I do. I have questions. Lots and lots of questions. Can I team up with you, Mum? Oh, I just know I'm going to regret this. You are going to play nicely, aren't you, June? Of course I am. I always play nicely. I'm a delight. Bradley, we need to talk. About what? Question one. Which one of Flick's little brats threw up all over my car? Well, that was you, wasn't it? Mum still talks about it. She still thinks she can smell it. She's had like eight cars since then. <laughs> I was three years old. Yeah, she'll never forgive you. You can answer it or what? Fine. So the answer is Abigail. You should have known things are only going to go downhill from there. Question two. Who poisoned my parakeets when he was a child? Is this you? Look, I, I didn't think they'd die. It was an experiment, okay? I should have remembered this. You've, you've done it before. What? I mean, it's pretty obvious if you take like a millionth of a second to think about it. I'll answer the question, but then we need to talk. What are you talking about? So the answer to that particularly tricky brain teaser is, of course, Bradley, my son. He's such a joy to be around. Abby, I need you. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote now, 
I might just make it. I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. I need you to pick one. Uh, it's okay, Abby. Whatever happens, happens. Just choose. Please. It's Talium. If you say so, kid. Chin chin. Finish this thing. I, I can do this. What? God. Abby, where have you been? Oh, she's doing it for attention. Be quiet, June. Are you okay, love? You're going to have to speak up, Abs. There's some pretty heavy rain. Okay, I can only accuse. Auntie June. I can get on with my quiz. Good. What are you doing? I've got a brilliant question lined up about Lottie's father. I'm rather hoping it's going to make her cry. I know it was you. You poisoned Uncle Marcus. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, oh, that's been coming, I must say. Was that the guilt? What? Did the guilt make you do that? No, it was the wine. What, what have I got to feel guilty about? I just told you before you threw up. You tried to kill Uncle Marcus. You poisoned him at the meeting. What? Oh, well, well, well done, whoever it was. <laughs> it was you. Oh, fucking hell, Abigail. I mean, look at me. I'm a mess. I can barely keep track of what day it is, let alone plan an intricate poisoning. Christ, especially at the meeting. God, I was off my face. Look, I'm not surprised someone's had a go at the old prick, but it wasn't me. I'm sorry. I know you'd love to ruin me like this. What? Oh, you hate me. I terrify you. I, I'm, I'm the product of what this family can do to you, how it can destroy you. But you know why? It's exactly why I hate you. You've still got a chance. You're young, you're smart. You can still get out now before it destroys you. But you won't, will you? Because you're just like me. You're too much of a coward. I don't know what to say. Take a long look at your future, Abigail. 
Now look at me. Let it all sink in. Can I look away now? No. Okay. Got two more. I s okay, so I saved him. <sighs> There's nothing on her. How do I not have enough on him? Oh man. This is maddening because he gave Uncle Marcus pills. Why can't I accuse him? It's very annoying. Uh, but that's who pressed mute on Uncle Marcus. I'll be back with another playthrough. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.